Okay, election season is coming up and I want to show you how you can make the process of being an informed voter a little bit easier using Notebook LM. What this does is it allows you to upload contextual information and it kind of centralizes all of your thinking into these different notebooks. So let's go ahead and start a new notebook and start by uploading some context and give it the ballot and I want to give it the voter pamphlet I was sent, and you can find both of these things online. And the benefit of doing this is I don't have to flip through that pamphlet and search for and digest the information. I can just ask questions about this candidate versus this other candidate, and it can tell me all about each candidate's positions. It can summarize things. It can proactively suggest topics I might want to know about. And as I get more information, I can continue to add it to the notebook. So the other thing that I usually do is I consult a couple of sources for their endorsements. So this is Willamette Week, and they have various endorsements for the various positions. And I can just copy what Willamette Week says about these different candidates. So I'm going to add text here. This is going to be for the mayor. The other thing I can do that's really handy is I can just give it a website URL and it will adjust that information. So rather than copy and paste, I can just paste in these URLs. Now, the next thing I can do is if I want a more balanced opinion, I can go to a different source. This is the Oregonian, and granted, I'm in Portland, so it skews pretty democratic no matter what you do, but this might be one of the more balanced sources that I could provide. I'll add that. It also does YouTube videos. You might have noticed that Willamette Week provided city council sessions in the form of YouTube videos. We could paste those in there. But once you have all your sources, then you could just ask questions about whatever you want related to what you uploaded. So here I'm looking at a sample of my ballot. Say I want to find information about this one. If I were to go to Willamette Week, I actually can't find their endorsement for these people. And it was kind of frustrating to try and see if they had it. But I want to be an informed voter. So what I can do is I can turn to my notebook and then I could just ask the differences between James Carlson and Ramona Denise. And based on this information, I can read about their qualifications, who is endorsing them, what their platform is, etc. all nicely summed up in this notebook. And there are citations for each bit of information that point back to the original source. Now, the other thing I can do that's super useful is I can check this information to make sure it's coming from a valid source. So I click on one of these citations, it jumps me right to the point in the original source material I pasted, and I can see, yes, indeed, Ramona Denise was involved with the Wild Salmon Center, etc. The other thing that this does is it actually helps you be informed about the different ballot measures and concerns of interest happening in your election season. For example, this question here was generated by Notebook LM. This can be a big help when you're trying to be an informed and impartial voter. Let me know how this process works for you. Let me know how you use Notebook LM, or let me know other tricks that you've come up with for simplifying the voting process. Thanks for watching.